Don't expect an extraordinary life if you're not putting extraordinary actions into it. Don't expect an inspired life if you're not going to follow what inspires you. The basic law that I use on that is time times intensity gives results. Time times intensity gives results. The more intensely you focus, the more intensely you act, the more intensely you study, the more intensely you take actions, the quicker it comes. How intensely are you able to do it? You know, when the energy goes up, a lot gets done. So if you're, if you're prioritizing your day and getting the most effective and efficient things done and you're doing it and delegating and getting other people to assist you and getting things done. I had a lunch with my son yesterday and we were talking about what he's doing on YouTube. And uh, we, he's, he had a bit of an anxiety of going to the next level kind of thing. And, he was, and I asked him, what's the anxiety? What's the fear? I said, you didn't plan it out. And he goes, yeah, you're right. And I've been, I've been anxious, but I said, let's take a look. What, what's the worst thing that can happen and let's put things in place. And then if you were to go through with it, what would it produce for you? And what would it cost? And we looked it out and he goes, done. And he saw what he needs to do. He knows who he's going to get to help him. And he's freezing up and he got into action. So taking the time to actually get prioritized and to de delegate the lower priority things frees you up because otherwise you won't, uh, you won't build momentum doing it. It's as simple as that. But if you want to get it done quick, intensify your actions do twice as much you know I, I remember when i when my wife uh, athena was around she passed away 16 years ago now she um she was sitting in in the double bay at the rich carlton hotel and we had john singleton who was the movie producer for fern gully forest and a bunch of movies from australia and we were all sitting there sitting on a bed watching this movie that he had just produced and um on, on the thing they put it in we had those days he had big cartridges that we put in the videos and uh in the process of doing that you know he said because athena asked john and said well how did you get where you are how did you succeed and achieve what you've done he said try working a full day and i and i and i, I thought yep the people i know that get things done they put in the hours you know i i was uh there were two ballet ballet specialists with me the other day and they, they put in eight hours a day on ballet on the physical performance out on the on the floor and then they put in another three to four hours a day typically in theory in principle and memorizing scripts and choreography and all those things and eight to ten to twelve hours a day you get a lot done it's not uncommon for me for to have an 18 hour day that's a typical day uh people go well that's crazy no it isn't not if you want something if you want something you'll be willing to put the effort into it and it doesn't feel like work when you're doing something you love to do I was talking to Bill Pollack from Drake International. He said, I, I put in 17, 18 hour days many times. If you're really, really, really interested in doing something, you'll put the intense focus and put the hours into it and you'll achieve more. And that doesn't mean you have to. You may have a desire to want to spend time with family and spend time socializing and spend time shopping and spend time this. Then that tells you that that's what's important to you. But don't expect to be an, a, an accelerator, a leader in a particular area if you're really diversified into different areas. That's not realistic. If you want to master something, you're going to have to master it. And or you're going to have to put people in place to delegate things so you can have those diversities. But my experience, the people I know that have done the farthest and built momentum and built a brand and an identity around something, they built momentum by putting an incredible amount of focus on one thing and they stayed with it. You know, I put in thousands of hours. Just in the breakthrough experience I've taught now, one, 1,102, this will be 1,103 times this weekend, uh, I've done 28,000 hours just in that one program, 28,000 hours just to that program. That's not all the research behind it. That's not all the traveling behind towards it. That's just delivering the program, 28,000 hours in that. I put in way more than that into research and I do it. So when you really want something, you'll put the energy into it. It's that simple. Don't come up with excuses. Don't say, I don't have time to do it. If it's important to you, make the time. You structure the time. You delegate the things away and you prioritize your actions, you get it done. So when you say, well, I meant to do it, but I didn't get around to doing it, or I have this come up, or I can't, then those are more important to you. Just be honest with yourself. You know, if you're setting goals and it's not honest with what you really value, you're gonna beat yourself up, think there's something wrong with you and you're gonna to wanna to come up with excuses, you wanna blame things. But if you get clear about what it is and look at what your life's doing it and structure your life around party, and the breakthrough experience, I'm interested in giving you guidelines on how to do that, if you want it. If you don't, then don't expect it. Don't expect an extraordinary life if you're not putting extraordinary actions into it. Don't expect an inspired life if you're not going to follow what inspires you and delegate things. Can't live an inspired life doing low priority things and 
and, and frustrating things and saying yes to everybody else and letting everybody else who has their own agendas occupy your rest of your life, you can't get there. Not going to happen. So you have to be able to say no to things that are low priority and say yes to things that are real priority. You have to decide that. You have to get clear about what that is. That's what the breakthrough experience is for. To break through those fantasies and delusions that people have that is supposed to come to them. If it was meant to be, it's going to happen. No, it's not. You, it's your job. You have, you have the, the freedom to make a decision every day about are you going to live by priority or are you going to let the world run you? It's that simple. And I chosen to do it. I learned that from Alec McKinsey's book, The Time Trap at age 27, 28. Oh, yes, almost 28. And um, man, it was a major difference when I finally learned to delegate and prioritize and get on with things that really produce that uh, give me my results. The thing that inspires me is researching and teaching and sharing. Just like right now, um, there's never a lack of energy for that. Energy is infinite once you recognize that source. Once you're doing what it is that's inspiring to you, the energy goes way up. And energy magnetizes opportunity, enthusiasm and inspiration and, and love for what you do and gratitude for what you do, which is the cornerstone of the breakthrough experience and the Demartini method. All of those give you a higher probability of having a fulfilled life. And there's nothing stopping you, I, I guarantee you. I've, I've taken people that it, they want to run their story, stop their story. I have to do it almost every weekend in the breakthrough experience. People want to run their story, blame things on the outside, stop the story, what's priority, what is the thing you're going to do to take action? You have the command to take action right now in that direction. And every day you do that, you're going to build momentum. And once you build momentum, no mortal can interfere with an immortal visionary. And a person that gets clear on that and focused on that, that's the purpose of the breakthrough, to break through those illusions that people have. Because it's all programs about the people around you are constantly programming and projecting onto you their belief systems. And if you buy them and subordinate to them, then they become your, your, your own limitings. But there's not because of you have a limit. There's no limit inside you. It's so when you allow yourself to run, that's all. Thank you for joining me for this presentation today. If you found value out of the presentation, please go below and please share your comments. We certainly appreciate that feedback. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification icons. That way I can bring more content to you and share more to help you maximize your life. I look forward to our next presentation. Thank you so much for joining.